Hey y'all, my name is Sonali and today I'm going to be doing a chit chat get ready with me all about my senior year here at UCF. So, so I woke up, washed my face, brushed my teeth, did all that stuff and now it is time to moisturize which is like the most vital part of my routine because my skin is so dry. Actually, just kidding, I'm gonna redo my hair because it's a mess. My hair is getting so long. It feels like just yesterday that I like chopped it all off, chopped it, <laughs> but it was like maybe to here. But I mean, that's like kind of short for me. I mean, if you know me, I've had long hair like literally my whole life. So that was a crazy time. And I actually like, really liked my hair. Um, I, I could do it again, but I don't know. I feel like for grad picks and stuff like that, I'd, want my hair long but don't hold me to it because i feel like with haircuts i get really impulsive like if i want a haircut i need to like book it that day or like book it the next day but anytime after that i'll just start second guessing myself if that makes sense this is the elizabeth arden's good night sleep moisturizer um and i literally got it at tj maxx for like 14 dollars Next up, we're gonna do brows, and this is the LA Girl Shady Slim Brow Pencil. I was at CVS the other day because I had to get new mascara. I feel like with brow pencils, you never know when they're gonna end. While I get ready, I wanted to answer some questions about my senior year. Right now, it is the last weekend in March, and I am graduating in the first weekend of May, and it is terrifying, um, but also I just know that there are better and bigger things to move on to so i'm really really excited about it and i mean it's a very stressful time because because plans have changed and i am so excited that plans have changed me and ryan did a q a i think this past summer and we were talking about you know our plan after college and we were like so set on it and we talked about how we were going to move home and all this stuff um and plans have changed so I'm very excited to talk about it. Um, I wanna talk about it with Ryan though. I told y'all I didn't want you guys to ask me questions about post-grad life because I will be addressing that later, but also I do not have a job right now. So just you know, letting you guys know that one tidbit. I don't have a job. I really don't think you guys understand how excited I am to put on makeup right now. Oh my goodness, I have not worn makeup in like, it feels like a month, but it was probably two weeks and that was just like literally so long. Um, today I'm using the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation from NARS. I'm back in the high-end foundation game. I'm very excited to be. I used the L'Oreal Pro Matte Foundation for the longest freaking time. And then I don't know why I bought this, but I did and I really like it. Um, it's like the perfect match to my skin, but also this is my non-tan color, so God bless. Hopefully I can bronze it up a little bit. One person asked, what will you miss the most about UCF? First of all, I'm definitely gonna miss the palm trees because you see a sunset, that's beautiful, but you see a sunset with palm trees around it, oh my God, that's magical. Second thing, it's just being around students. like. Literally going on campus makes me the happiest person. This is just one layer of the foundation on this side. Haven't put anything on this side, but as you can tell, it just like evens out your skin. I mean, obviously that's what foundation does. I honestly usually just go in with the second layer just because I like a little bit more full coverage, but you can definitely stop at the first layer with this foundation. For concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and go in with the Tarte Shape Tape. Before I blend that out, I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro Concealer, and it is in the color Dark Cocoa. I'm going to contour with this. I've been really into cream contouring lately. It does add a little bit more time, but I just really like how it looks. Then I'm going to contour my nose, which I have to have a lot of concentration for. So here we go. Try not to have too much of a heavy hand. First, I'm going to take this brush. I got it at TJ Maxx, um, and then I'm gonna blend it out. Always blend upwards. The next question is, what are you not going to miss about Orlando? That is super easy. The humidity is disgusting here around the summertime. 
which actually I've only been here for one summer out of my whole college career. That was my first summer freshman B and it was disgusting. <laughs> like, to be honest, it was just really gross. Um, I feel like I never experienced like that before because Atlanta's not that humid and it was raining literally every single day. It would rain like right at 3 p.m. So it was not too great. But other than that, like every other month out of the year, it's amazing here. And I'm going to miss this weather. Um, but I'm excited to get fall again because I haven't had that in a while. Just going in with the beauty blender to pat it all out in case I like missed any lines or anything. Next question is, are you more excited or scared to graduate? Right now in this point of my life, I'm more scared. I feel like everything is so convenient right now and I feel like everything is so great for my career right now. I feel like I've built my reputation up as a freelancer here in Orlando and yeah, I'm scared to move to a new city because I'm not gonna have like all these connections that I've worked four years for. Moving to a new city obviously scares me, but I've done it and I have loved it. So I have no doubt in my mind that I will not love this city that I'm moving to. Comment down below if you guys can guess what city it is that I'm moving to because I'm, I just wanna see. I just wanna see if you guys can guess it. So comment down below. Next is baking and I haven't baked in a while. So I think I'm gonna go crazy today because why not? Next question is what was your favorite part about these last four years? I think I would say the opportunities that came out of being here at UCF, being in Orlando. Like, yes, I thought Orlando was like a perfect school for, you know, academics and the opportunities because it's close to so much and it's not like a normal college town. Um, but I didn't realize like actually like what would happen. For eyeshadow today, I'm gonna be using the Desi and Katie palette from Dose of Colors. It is stunning. This package is amazing. And the colors are like super interesting, but there are definitely really, really good neutrals in this. Um, and obviously the other colors are gorgeous, but you know, today's not the day for that. So first I'm gonna be taking this color right here and putting that all over the lids, all over the crease. The next question is, do you see yourself starting your own business? And I definitely do. Um, I'm not really sure what it would be. Technically, I already did start my own business because I already have an LLC for a productions company. Um, so that's kind of cool. Other than that, I don't really know what I would do, but I definitely have an entrepreneurial you know, drive in me and I definitely got that from my dad. So I'm gonna take that same color and put it right under my eyes on the lower lash line. Next, I'm gonna take the darkest color in the palette and put that right on top of my lid. Then just blend that all out. First, I'm gonna bronze up a little. I'm going to be taking my um, Makeup Forever self-made palette and there's just this contour color in here. It's like a cool tone. Doesn't necessarily bronze me up, but at least it like contours the heck out of my face. So I'm gonna be taking like a little bit of a warmer color right after this to bronze me up a little bit more and to add a little bit more color to my face. The next question is, do you think you would be where you are at right now if you hadn't joined a sorority? Honestly, I'd probably be in like an insanely different place right now. I was actually just talking to my sister last night and she was saying how my sorority like made me more outgoing and made me more confident. First of all, it gave me so many cool opportunities, like pretty much half or maybe even more than half of my opportunities like for freelancing or like anything else came from my connections within Greek life. So not just my sorority, but like, you know, the people I met outside of my sorority from other chapters. And graduating as an alum of Kappa Delta, I feel like I'm always gonna have those connections. If I wasn't in a sorority, I feel like I wouldn't have even done this much with um, my freelance career. Like, 
I feel like Katie and the girls here pushed me to, you know, find my passions in videography and photography. So I feel like I wouldn't even be here in my career if it wasn't for Katie and just Greek life in general. Next, I'm gonna go in with the Sephora bronzing face powder in Canary Islands number seven. Um, this one has a little bit of shimmer in it, so I don't really wanna bring it all the way up on my forehead. Just gonna do a little bit on the cheeks and by a little bit, you know, I mean like a lot. The next question is, did your senior year go as imagined? Honestly, no, it has not because at first I thought I was gonna be chilling, you know, not really doing much just like taking advantage of like all this free time I had, but I have never been more busy in my freaking life than this year and especially this semester. I will say maybe I bit off a little bit more than I can chew, but I know that I can handle it in the long run. It's honestly really hard for me to pass up an opportunity that is going to help my future. Like even if I may not have all the time in the world, it's just still so hard to pass up the opportunity. So that's why I've been taking so many like gigs lately. And you know, I have been a little bit stressed out about them, but you know, in the moment I've been stressed out. And then once I get it done, I'm like, yes, yeah, Sonali, you did that, like go you. I also thought I'd be going out a lot more, but in reality, I feel like once you get older, you go out a little less. I don't know. I feel like maybe that's just like my pledge class slash my friend group, but yeah, <laughs> I thought I was gonna go out way more because, you know, I'd be chilling, but since I guess that didn't happen, I'm not going out as much. Next for blush, I'm going in with my NARS blush in the color Outlaw. This blush has been with me for so long, like definitely since high school, maybe. No, probably not before, but definitely since high school. So I'm gonna be using my newest eyeliner. It is the Invaluable Longwear Eye Pencil by L'Oreal. So I'm just gonna smudge it out with my finger a little bit. I'm just gonna put a light coat of the L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara on my lashes, just to make sure that there's no like powder to cover up and you just like random coloring. I just want my eyelashes to be black right under like the false lashes so they can blend a little bit better. So I just put on lashes. These lashes are by Kiss and they're in the style Pixie. For a highlight, I'm going to be using my Hourglass Radiant Light Powder. This is the perfect highlight to get that glow from within. This is like literally what so many people use. It's amazing. Just gonna take a little bit on my nose. I always forget, bought a mascara. <laughs> Gonna do that now with the same mascara I used to coat my top lashes. Next, I'm gonna take my MAC setting spray and set my face. Last but not least, we need some lip color. So I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Dolce K liquid lip. And I don't love like the formula of this, but I really, really like the color, so. I'm just gonna have to put some gloss over it to make it a little bit more moisturizing. I'm gonna take this brown NYX lip liner and just line my lips a little bit. Then to top it off, I'm going to be using this Soap & Glory lip gloss. So this is the complete look. I hope you guys enjoyed this chit chat get ready with me. Don't forget to comment down below where you think I'm moving after college and I can't wait to share that information with you guys. But for now, you guys can follow me on Instagram. You can see what my life is like here in Orlando, here at UCF, and come along with me while I finish out my senior year. So I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.